And question number five, we are given that a triangular triple is a triple of positive integers a, b, and c such that we can construct a triangle with side lengths a, b, and c. And without loss of generality, if we assume a is less than equal to b is less than equal to c, then they'll form a triangle if a plus b is greater than c. So we are given some examples. Then it has defined a function f p for a positive integer p such that perimeter of this triangle a plus b plus c it is equal to p. So we are given a plus b plus c it is equal to p. And for this perimeter p, f p is defined as number of triangular triplets that can be formed. And the first question says write the value of f3, f4, f5 and f6. Now, if we say it is f3 then value of p is 3 that means a plus b plus c it is 3 and a, b, c are positive integers that means the only possibility here is a equals b equals c and it is equal to 1. So we have this triangular triplet which is 1, 1, 1 an equilateral triangle. So in this case number is 1. Now we take f4 here value of p is 4 so value of a plus b plus c it is 4 now we can partition this as 1 plus 1 plus 2 now 1 1 and 2 it doesn't form a triangle so in this case f4 will be 0 now we take p as 5 here a plus b plus c it is 5 now we can Partition this as 2 plus 2 plus 1 and there is no other way. Now 2, 2 and 1 they can be arranged in 3 ways. It could be either 2, 2, 1 or 2, 1, 2 or 1, 2, 2. In this case number of triangular triplets it is 3. So value of F5 is 3. And if we take PS6 we will get a plus b plus c as 6. Now one of the possibilities 2 plus 2 plus 2 3 2 and 1 will be a straight line. So this is the only possibility. So in this case value of f6 is 1. So these are the values of f3, f4, f5 and f6. Now second part is if a, b, c is a triangular triple show that a plus 1, b plus 1 and c plus 1 is also a triangular triple. So for the second part Without loss of generality, we'll assume that A is less than equal to B, it is less than equal to C and A plus B is greater than C. Now if A is less than equal to B is less than equal to C, then if we add 1 to all parts, then A plus 1 will be less than or equal to B plus 1 will be less than or equal to C plus 1. And if we add two both sides, we can write A plus 1 plus B plus 1 will be greater than c plus 2 and c plus 2 will be greater than c plus 1. So from here we can say a plus 1 plus b plus 1 will be greater than c plus 1. So basically a plus 1, b plus 1 and c plus 1 it is also a triangular triplet. So if abc is a triangular triplet then a plus 1, b plus 1 and c plus 1 is also a triangular triplet. Now if we take this third part it says if x, y and z is a triangular triple with x plus y plus z equals to an even number greater than or equal to 6. So this x plus y plus z it is equal to some even number say 2s and which is p that is greater than or equal to 6. Now it says show that each of x, y, z is at least 2 and that x minus 1, y minus 1 and z minus 1 is also a triangular triple. Now in the first part we have to show that each of x, y and z it is 2 or greater than 2 and we'll prove it using contradiction. So what we'll do is we'll again assume x is less than equal to y and it is less than equal to z and let x is equal to 1. Now if x is equal to 1 then Basically x plus y is greater than z so we will get 1 plus y will be greater than z and also 1 plus y plus z this is equal to 
2s. Now this right hand side, it is even and this is odd. So basically y and z, they should have opposite parity. One of them should be odd and the other one should be even. Now once it is decided that one of them is even and the other one is odd, this y, it cannot be equal to z. That means this y is strictly less than z. And if we add one both sides, then from here we can say 1 plus y will be less than or equal to z which contradicts this condition. That means our supposition is wrong. So from contradiction, we can say that this x, it cannot be 1. So each of x, y and z, they must be 2 or greater than 2. Now for the third question, we are given that x, y and z, they are triangular triplet. That means x plus y will be greater than z and we have to show that x minus 1, y minus 1 and z minus 1, it is also a triangular triplet. Now we can also write this as x minus 1 plus y minus 1 will be greater than z minus 2 or we can write x minus 1 plus y minus 1 will be greater than or equal to z minus 1. Now in this, we just have to eliminate this condition that x minus 1 plus y minus 1 equals z minus 1. Then we get the only condition which is x minus 1 plus y minus 1 will be greater than z minus 1 which will make this x minus 1, y minus 1 and z minus 1 a triangular triplet. Now if this is true then we can write x plus y it is equal to z plus 1 or x plus y plus z it is 2z plus 1. Now this 2z plus 1 it is odd whereas in the question it says x plus y plus z it is an even number that means this condition is impossible. So from here the only condition that we will get is x minus 1 plus y minus 1 will be greater than z minus 1. That is, this triplet x minus 1, y minus 1, and z minus 1, it is a triangular triplet. Now, this part 4 is using the previous two parts, prove that for any positive integer k greater than or equal to 3, f 2k minus 3, it is equal to f 2k. Now for this what we will do is for a triangular triplet ABC let us assume that A plus B plus C it is equal to 2K minus 3. Now from the second result we know that if ABC is a triangular triple then A plus 1, B plus 1 and C plus 1 is also a triangular triple. So from here we can say A plus 1, B plus 1 and C plus 1 it is a triangular triple and a plus 1 plus b plus 1 plus c plus 1 will be equal to 2k. And the same way, if we say there is a triangular triple, say x, y, z such that x plus y plus z, it is equal to 2k. Now this is even and it is greater than or equal to 6. And the third part we know that x minus 1 y minus 1 and z minus 1, it is a triangular triple. So we can write x minus 1 plus y minus 1 plus z minus 1, it is equal to 2k minus 3. So there is a one to one correspondence between these two cases, a, b, c and x, y, z when a plus b plus c is 2k minus 3 and x plus y plus z is equal to 2k. So from here we can say f 2k minus 3, it must be equal to f 2k. Now we'll come to this part 5. Now this part 5 it says, we'll now consider the case when p is greater than or equal to 6 and it is even, we'll write this p as 2s. Now this first part is, show that in the case abc is a triangular triple with a plus b plus c equals p if and only if a plus b plus c is strictly smaller than s. So we have this case, a plus b plus c, it is equal to 2s where s is greater than or equal to 3 and we have already proved that each of abc they must be 
2 or greater than 2. Now here we have to prove that each of ABC is strictly smaller than S. Now again without loss of generality, we will assume A is less than or equal to B is less than or equal to C and they are greater than or equal to 2. Now here we have to prove that each of ABC is strictly smaller than S that is C is less than S. Now what we will do is we will prove this using elimination. So either C can be less than S or equal to S or greater than S. Now we will take this first case when C is equal to S. Now if C is equal to S then we know that A plus B plus C it is 2S and if C is S then A plus B is also S and it is equal to C. So in this case there is no triangle possible. If we take the second case when C is greater than S then A plus B plus C it is 2S or 2S minus A minus B will be greater than S or A plus B is less than S which is less than C. So again triangle is not possible. So in this case the only condition that we will have is this C it should be less than S. So the condition that we get here is each of A, B and C it, it should be greater than or equal to 2 but less than S. And in this part B it says for any A such that A lies between 2 and S minus 1. So A lies between 2 and S minus 1. Number of possible values of B such that A, B and P minus A minus B is a triangular triple is A minus 1. Now here this A it is fixed. We have taken it some number between 2 and S minus 1. So A can be any number from this set 2, 3, 4 up to S minus 1 and we also know that each of B and C they also lie between 2 and S minus 1. Now A plus B plus C it is equal to 2S and this C is 2S minus A minus B and C is less than or equal to S minus 1. So basically B is greater than or equal to S plus 1 minus A. So from here we get this condition that B should be greater than or equal to S plus 1 minus A and it should be less than or equal to S minus 1. Now if we look at number of values of B, it will be S minus 1 minus S plus 1 minus A plus 1. Now here S will cancel and this minus 1 and plus 1 will cancel. So this is equal to A minus 1. So for any particular value of A, number of choices for B is A minus 1. And if A and B they are fixed, then C is automatically obtained. So once we have number of choices for B, then this number of triangular triplets for any P will be given by this summation A varies from 2 to S minus 1 and it will be this A minus 1. Now if we put A as 2, it will be this 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to S minus 2 which is sum of first S minus 2 numbers. So it is n n plus 1 by 2 which is S minus 2 S minus 1 by 2. So that is the formula we have for Fp. And finally in its sixth part it says find the value of F21. Now 21 is odd. And we have this formula when the sum is even. Now in previous result we have proved that f 2k minus 3 it is equal to f 2k. Now if we take this k as 12 then f 24 minus 3 is 21 and it will be equal to f 24. Now for f 24 value of s is 12 and it will be given by s minus 2 into s minus 1 divided by 2 which is 55. So the value of f21 is 55 and that is the answer to this question.